Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about rearranging variables, we are on IXL, I9. So, how we are going to do this, we are going to solve the given equation for a variable by isolating it. So, let's get started. This one here says solve for t in terms of s, u, v, and w. What it means, get the t by itself, on the other side you need to have all these variables. So those variables are going to be together on the other side. There might be some other numbers involved as well, but uh, from variables perspectives, t is going to be all by itself. So what we have in here, u w equals s t v. That's product, by the way. u product w, that's multiplication, and these are multiplication as well. So to get a variable by itself, you're going to focus on that side. Right now we are solving it for t, which is on the right side. And then what I need to do is I need to get the t by itself. So I'm dealing with the right side. Everything is multiplied. And if I want to get the t by itself, th that means I need to get rid of s and v. So I need to be able to do, the, uh, do these. So for that, they're multiplied. I need to divide by s and I need to divide by v. Then these are going to cancel each other out. Okay? That's, that's what I need to do. But I cannot just do that to the right side. I need to do it to the left side as well. Divide the left side by s and v. By s and v, I'm not talking about combining them or adding them. I'm talking about multiplying them together because they were multiplied over here. Uh, at the top, they need to be multiplied in the bottom as well. So what you see on the right now is just the t on the left i have u times w all over s times v that's what i need to put up here so i need a fraction at the top i need u w u w in the bottom i need s v so that would be my answer okay so let's just submit this and do another question. Solve for u in terms of t and v. This is easier than the other. It says solve for u. Start with your original equation, v equals ut. Uh, get the u by itself. u is on the right side. The other thing that I have is t. It is multiplied. I'm getting rid of that t by doing the inverse operation of multiplication, which is division. Divide by t, but not just the right side, both of the sides. These are gone. Right side is u, left side is v over t. So that would be my answer. I need a fraction. It'll say v over t. Let's move on a level and see what sort of questions we will have when we have, when we are around 60 points. Okay, solve for w. So I need to get the W by itself, <coughs> excuse me, solve for W in terms of U, V, and X. So all the other variables should be away from W, they should be on the other side. So let's start with original e equation, X equals negative 1 over W times V times U. <coughs> so the first thing that I realize is I have 1 over W. I'm not going to touch that one first. I will leave that to the end. I will start getting rid of the other terms. W is on the right side, right? That, that's my equation. That tells me the size. Whatever I have on the left of this line is the left side. Everything else is on the right side. So I'm not going to touch this guy over here. I'm going to get rid of the other ones so that I can end up with this fraction all by itself. That's going to be my first step. So, how do I get rid of the times v times u? Since they are all multiplied, I need to divide each side. Let's just get rid of these ones. Divide each side, like right side should be divided by v times u, and then left should be divided by v u. Now, these u's are gone, these are gone. Left side turned into 
x over du okay right side is I'm just bringing down that fraction now this is what I have but how do I get to w by itself it's not by itself there is that negative and then there is that one over how do I how do I get rid of those so one way of this is doing cross multiplication the other way is let me go I've already taught you how to do cross multiplication if you didn't use equation tools online by now you should know how to do it which in any case you should know how to do cross multiplication anyways whether you use other tools to solve your equations or not you really should know how to do cross multiplication so I'm not redoing it at this point I'm gonna show you another method so this W should be at the top it should be in the numerator of this fraction it should be just W uh, like this W is at the top it's not in the denominator there's no fraction that's what I need so if I just do this it's divided right W is in the denominator it's 1 over so if I do times W let me see that's gonna make it way harder so I need to go with the uh, cross multiplication method let's redo it because this is gonna take it longer than that so for cross multiplication I multiply these two and bring it down it, it, it's x times w bring down your equal and then multiply these two it's negative 1 times vu either two weeks ago we learned that multiplicative, multiplicative identity is 1 when you multiply anything by 1 the answer stays the same such as 5 times 1 is 5 x times 1 is x vu times 1 is vu so but this time there's also that negative so the answer is going to be negative vu negative 1 times vu is negative vu and remember we were solving this for w that's the thing that should be all by itself so w is now on the left side right left side has the w it's multiplied by x you always focus on what you're solving it for and try to get rid of everything else from that same side now w is on the left it's multiplied by x that means I need to divide each side by x that's gone so the w is all by itself and the answer is negative v times u all over x you can either leave that negative in front of the whole fraction here are your options for your answer negative and then your fraction line v u is at the top x in the bottom this is the same as your fraction line you have vu and x you can put that negative at the top let's do it again fraction line x and vu or in the bottom whether it's in the de it's in the numerator or denominator or right in front of the fraction as long as you have one negative they are all the same so it doesn't matter which one you put as your final answer so let's do another one it's the same how does that happen why does it keep asking the same question are you serious there's something weird let's just refresh the page okay let's do this one uh, solve for W get the W all by itself so now focus on that side that you had the W the equation is V equals X plus U plus W W is on the right side I'm looking at my right side and trying to get rid of everything else but W there is this negative X there is this X it is positive and it's added so I need to subtract that X from both sides that's step one and then the left side you can like if you see that u is going to be subtracted and if you want to subtract them all together that's totally fine that's if I was all by myself that's what I would do but I want to do it step by step right now so v minus x is my left side right now and then I'm gonna bring down that equal 
this is cancelled out, I have u plus w on the right side. Remember, I was trying to get the w by itself, and u is added. So I need to subtract it to get the w by itself, since these are the same, they are gone. These are not like terms. On the left side, I do not have any like term, so I'm just writing them next to each other. That's the reason. v minus x minus u equals w. So I have my w all by itself. The other side is my answer, v minus x minus u. I don't need a fraction. v minus x minus u would be my answer. Okay? So let's do another one. This is the last one. It's the same question. Are you kidding me? Let me see if it's going to change. If not, I'm not... Okay, let's do this one too. It's a different, different variable at least. Okay, solve for x. Let's solve this for x. So the first step is writing the equation y equals 1 over x wz. Uh, step 1, I decide, I see that x is on the right side, okay? The other variables are w and z on the right side that I need to get rid of so that I can get the x by itself. So they are all multiplied, that means I need to divide by wz by wz. Now, these are gone, these two. My left side turned into y over wz. Bring down the equal, and 1 over x. Now, remember, we were trying to get the x by itself, but it's a, it's a fraction, x is in the denominator, I need to do cross multiplication. Let's multiply these two, and bring it down, it's yx, bring down the equal, and then multiply wz by 1. The answer is not going to change. 1 times wz equals to itself. Now we were trying to get the x by itself. All of a sudden, x is on the left side. Focus on the left side now. y is multiplied. How do we get rid of the multiplication? By division. So that would be our answer. x is all by itself. The other side is wz all over y. So this right here is our answer. We need a fraction where the numerator is wz and then the denominator is y. So that's all for this video. It's going to be tricky for some of you, especially if you use other tools in the past when solving the equations. Uh, you need to struggle first to figure out algebra 1. So. I really hope that you should stop, You can stop using other tools to solve equations because you're going to need these skills in geometry, in algebra 2. And if you ever get back to school setting, uh, you're not going to look smart because you're not going to know how to solve an equation because all these times you have been using like other websites to get the job done. Now you are like all by yourself and don't know how to solve an equation. You're not going to feel confident. So please when you're home, when there's no one around you, have this struggle. Figure it out. Rewatch the videos if you need to, but you need to learn how to solve an equation. It's not something that you might want to like, okay, I'll figure it out later. No, you will not. You're going to have other things to deal with in geometry, in algebra too. So learning how to solve an equation is not going to be a, the teacher's concern. It's not something that they can figure, like they can have you do it at that moment because everything that you learn next year and the year after is going to be based on the assumption of you knowing how to solve an equation. And if you don't, you're going to have a lot of hard times passing those classes. So again, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I will see you in another video.